Remember, safety first. Don't forget an adult and to get any safety equipment you may need for today's experiment. Hello, welcome to Pop Bang Biz Stupendous Science. My name is Kirsten and I'm from the St. Charles Public Library. We're coming to you online until we can be together again at the library. Today, we are experimenting with sound. So we need some water and some glasses. And the glasses should be the same size. You want at least two, but you can use more. I will be using six. But it is important that they're the same type of glass. You could also use a mason jar or anything else that you have that is the same size and made out of glass. We also need some food coloring if you want to make your water colorful. You don't have to. If you don't have food coloring, that's fine. But I'm going to make a rainbow today. And we also want something that will work as a drumstick so we can tap our glass, like a wooden spoon or a metal spoon or a pencil, like a chopstick, or if you have an actual drumstick, that would work too. But we want to be careful when we do tap it so we don't break anything. For safety equipment today, you may want to put something down on your work surface to protect it or something on your clothes, especially if you're using food coloring, just so you don't stain anything. All right, that's everything we need. Let's get started. So first, we're going to line up our glasses in front of us and fill it with water at different levels. So you could do your first one pretty high and then your last one pretty low. Okay, so we want them to have varying levels of water. And then if you would like to, you can add food coloring, but you don't have to. I'm gonna make a rainbow. Okay, so now we're almost ready to make some music. But first, let's make a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a guess on what we think will happen next. So when we tap each one of these, do you think they'll make different sounds or the same sound? Do you think the sound will change if the water level changes? A hypothesis doesn't have to be right or wrong. It's just a guess to keep us thinking. All right, are you ready to play some music? Grab whatever you would like to tap with and let's get started. Let's hear the lowest water and the highest water. Ready? Can you hear the difference in the note sound? Listen to this one. The note sounds really low. And low, let's listen to this one. The note sounds higher. That's because sound is made up of vibrations. And those vibrations occur when we tap the glass. And when the water is higher, the vibrations are slower because the water slows down the vibrations. And when the glass is filled with less water, the vibrations can move faster because there's not as much water slowing it down. And the faster vibrations make a higher sound. Pretty cool. Let's play some music. Beautiful. You can keep experimenting at home by trying to pick out your own tune or playing along with some music. Use different sides of the spoon, like the big part or the little part, and see if anything changes. Try a metal spoon or a wooden spoon, anything else you have at your house, maybe even your fingers. Just have a lot of fun today. All right. Thank you for watching Pop Bang Fizz Stupendous Science. If you liked this video, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check back weekly for more videos. If you want to learn more about science or learn some more science experiments, check out our online resource with your library card.
It's called Science Flicks. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.